In this Hubnut video, I really am hoping that my new unit is available because I've loaded Ellie with all manner of stuff, uh, witness stuff, and we're going to drive over to the new unit. Hopefully, I can unload her there and uh, my occupation of the new place can um, begin. Uh, incidentally, I'm wearing my Foxanne t shirt today, and uh, just a quick note on Foxanne, um, she will be driving over. Um, there's been an insurance calamity which means she's accidentally insured so um, I'm not quite sure how that happened but I ended up paying for her to be insured while Stace told me she wasn't but she is apparently insured so Foxanne will be driving over next week the, both the Sana and the Matiz will be getting transported to the new unit looking forward to that so I'm going to book a van at some point as well so I can move all this stuff you'll notice I've packed the shelving units down already they're ready to go I managed to get some pallets from a very nice company just over the way so um, I'm able to take everything off the shelving units and put it raised up just in case this unit floods again uh, so that's all good times but yeah basically all this is just waiting for a van now and what I suspect is going to be a very busy weekend of shifting stuff about uh, should be all the good times uh, so yeah taking Ellie today I'm gonna move her over um, because there, there will be somewhere for her to park even if we can't get in the unit but I am hopeful I can actually get into the unit and this will be the video where I finally show you my new place um, so without further ado I think I better crack on Ellie's gonna be really annoyed because it's raining today and she's currently nice and dry but sorry Ellie then them's the break sometimes uh, let's get you moving old girl Oh yeah, I didn't get to the reason I'm wearing this t-shirt today. Uh, the most viewed of my playlists over the past month is apparently Project Fox, which is um, slightly strange. I thought it might have been Project Invercar, but that's on the list, but it's not top. Project Fox is the top, which really is a reminder. I need to do a lot more with this car. Basically, I dragged it out of a farm, uh, waited for six months, and then um, replaced the engine gently recommissioned it, painted it with emulsion household paint and then a several coats of sealer, um, sort of acrylic sealer and I've generally hoped for the best and all I did was drive it to Bromley for the Bromley pageant of motoring and then she came back and didn't really do anything else um, because there were a few problems from that list. She really did just pass the MOT the week before we went so it was all a bit rushed. Lots to do, exhaust manifold, um, try and improve the electrics, the interior is an absolute disgrace uh, so hopefully lots of Fox content to come once I actually have tinkering time again. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, Project Fox, uh, apparently the most popular of my projects on YouTube at the moment. All very strange. Right, yeah, pack up, had a cup of tea, it's time to get on the road. Now I must apologise for the fact it's very, very dark in here, but it is very, very dark in here. Oh, and the indicator stalk has just fallen off, that often happens. Joys of two CVs. This little stalk is just held on with a little clip there. But um, Ellie hasn't run since the weekend. Uh, we went all the way to Birmingham uh, for a special video you will be able to see very soon. Oh, she sounds merry enough to me. There we go. We shall continue. Well, taking it a bit easy today due to the weight on board having a bit of an effect on the handling uh, but as you can see not the best day for it unfortunately just bent tight and it's catching a lot of people out yeah very exciting i haven't got the external microphone on i'm afraid uh, because i'm having a few connectivity issues with it so this is just the standard onboard microphone on my DJI Osmo action camera which I have to say has been absolutely superb a very pleasing little camera but yeah it's gonna be so good to have the cars closer to home Tuck and Ellie are the key cars of the fleet really so we got to have them in as the first cars Once I don't mind dawdling behind the tourists. Oh, watch it, magazines. Magazines I've never read. 
Yeah, this auto car has got a test of the brand new Vauxhall Viva HC, one of which I tested recently. That video has done very well for views. Uh, so I'll be interested to see what they reckon on it. So I've got plenty of um, reading material here. This dates from the 1st of October 1970. I was donated a load of magazines uh, before I even started the video channel by someone who um, enjoyed my work on Classic Car Weekly. Uh, Peter, if you're out there, I'm not sure if you watch or not, but thank you very much. I do dig in occasionally because it is nice to dig out some of the facts, especially the facts as presented back when these cars were current. These are, tend to be the motor show issues. Uh, I've got loads from the 60s, 70s and 80s. A wonderful resource. People are lovely generally. I think the mailbag feature rather demonstrates that. So yeah, thank you everyone for supporting what I do in whatever way you support it. We're still driving along. I've uh, just been to see Rachel and George. Uh, George DeCamp was in a black box and mostly invisible. But very, very happy as cats in boxes usually are. But there's fresh merchandise in which we will reveal this coming weekend. Uh, becoming uh, a key time for me in this car. So uh, that will be a video coming your way on Saturday. Just checking out the goods. And uh, the weather seems to be slightly improving, which is good, because uh, it was awful. Uh, still don't know if I'm going to be able to get into the unit, so we shall go and see how we get on. Oh, this is exciting. I'm reversing into my new unit. There you go, Ellie. Your new home. Right, let's take this wobbly thing off the window. I can take you with me and show you my new lair. But yeah, this is it. We've got um, skylights, so we can actually see what's going on in here. It's not so dark. We've got a crisp packet, a bit random. But yeah, this is it. And you can see it's um, a good old size. Oh, wow. Yes, this is going to be very good, I think. Still got someone else's stuff just over there. Uh, I assume that'll all be moving out in time, but I don't mind for now. So it would have been for agricultural, so we've got doors, variously, horse harness. Uh, it's a good space. Not my tyres, but that's okay. Oh, this is going to be great. There is some damp coming through this back wall. It's only one course of breeze block by the look of it. And while there is some drainage, there is also a bit of seepage, but we have had a lot of rain lately the important thing is I was in here the other day the roof is dry as a bone so that's all good right I think we need to bring someone else in Two linchpins, I would say, of the Hubnut fleet are in place. Tuck and Ellie. And uh, now we just need to get everything else over here. Now I'll have a bit of a think about where stuff is going to go. You know, where do I put tools and stuff? Uh, but, yeah, this is the spot. So you can see it's beautifully ventilated because we just got slats here. So all that will allow some rain in at times. Um, I'm not too worried because I'd rather have the ventilation. It, stuff will dry out again. Also all open on that side as well. Uh, it's very, very um, exciting times. I can't wait to 
get settled in. We've got a nice solid concrete floor, which is pretty clean, uh, apart from where Ellie's dribbling all over it. Uh, Took also is quite dribbly. Um, yeah, it's good times. This is some water pipe, which might come in useful. We would like to um, actually uh, get some water in here. I haven't got water in the unit. I've got water I can access. It's not in here yet. Uh, it's similar with electrics, because I was going to go into a different path which did have all the electrics, but um, I can see there's a floodlight up there. There's a bit of wiring about floodlight up the back as well. So electricity has reached here at some point. Might need some work, but that's okay. I'm not desperate for light because um, light conditions, as you can see, are so much better in here. Uh, it's going to be great. I am feeling very, very happy. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I shall perhaps unload Ellie a bit and uh, yeah, look forward to um, getting settled in. Lots of bangs and clonks, very windy day today. Uh, so, things, oops, including that door has just banged open. Uh, I was trying to use a step ladder to hold it in place. Apparently, a step ladder is not up to the job. Need more big rocks or something. Look, I've even got a hoe in here. Who doesn't love their own hoe? Uh, but there we go. That is the uh, unit we are in. It looks lovely. Even, I can even hang things from the roof. Marvellous. Uh, right. Um, I think just before we go, we shall head off and do another look at the mailbag. Stop slamming in and slamming close. No, 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 don't slam. There we go. I might have to secure that again. But yeah, let's go and have a look. See what's come in the mailbag this week. Just before we uh, move off, uh, this isn't an advertisement for a certain fast food restaurant, but I've had this um, Frankenstein Chicken McNugget uh, since 1995, which is the year I passed my driving test and got my first car in October 1995, squibbled the Ford Fiesta. And uh, me and my friend Andy, who you may have seen in previous videos, uh, went to a McDonald's and uh, back in that October. And uh, that was the result. We bought a Happy Meal, or Happy Meals each. And uh, I got a Chicken McNugget, and that has followed me through life for no apparent reason at all. Like I said, I don't even like fast food. Uh, I would rather avoid fast food restaurants altogether. But uh, that's a strange little nuggety part of my life. Literally a nugget. Well, hello and welcome to another mailbox, one which hopefully isn't going to be interrupted by the weather or children being murdered. I shouldn't joke about that. Some people don't find that funny. Uh, but uh, we, we're going to start with mailbox today. This is stuff sent to um, Hubnut, courtesy of this P.O. box, which will not be changing with the change of unit. That's the beauty of the P.O. box. The P.O. box stays exactly where it is. And uh, what have we got in here? Aha! This is for the Vectra. This is a code reading device. There we go. I have no idea how it works, uh, but it plugs into this vehicle here, not this vehicle here. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will help me find out. Is that that one? Where this is going? Oh yes, that's come from Cornwall. That's Adam, so thank you very much, Adam. I have a feeling someone else is sending me one as well. Um, but. Uh, the more the merrier. We'll try different types. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, okay. From um, Purely Pet Supplies, we have True Instinct Freeze Dried Chicken Treats for a dog. Uh, incidentally, the dog in question is nowhere near that large. He's very, very small. He really so that, those, yeah, that'll keep him going for um, about a month, I should think. He's tiny. Uh, I, I think those have come from Ian Jackson, so thank you, Ian, for that. Uh, where's the... Put them in the right pile, otherwise we'll lose all control of this. Oh, there's a clearer view of the address. Look how clear that is. That definitely tells you what's going on. Um, ooh. Close quarter hacksaw. Oh, I like it. So when you're chopping exhausts out of Vectras, which I hope never to do again in my life, but still, that's brilliant. And it looks 
really retro as well. So um, yeah, thank you whoever that was from. Um, something in here. Uh, Paul Marsh. I'm sending you a hand saw to help in future projects. And uh, someone who likes Vectra C's more than B's, having owned both. And we've got um, pictures of his Vectras. I've never driven a Vectra C. I would kind of like to, I think. See whether it is an improvement. Interestingly, I say interestingly, the Vectra C is the only car in this class since the original Cavalier to um, not have the um, rear wiper designed like that. There you go, glad you know now. All right, where are we going next? We'll go with this one, shall we? Is this more treats, do we think? He will be ecstatic. That is more treats. Fish treats this time for a dog. Uh, yeah, he will be the happiest little dog in the world. Uh, made with natural ingredients. Uh, so you don't want to feed your dog unnatural things, it can go horribly wrong. Ah, thank you very much. What have we got here? Newspaper. Any clues here? Is it a local paper? Oh, I've just ripped some woman's face. It's the mail on Sunday. Okay. Haha, -ha, more Vactan. Uh, I still have um, about half a bottle of the stuff. But yeah, there you go. Performance Chemicals uh, are um, the providers. I don't think they provided this one, but um, they may have done. There's no accompanying letter. But yeah, that is Vactan. That is um, good stuff for turning your rust into not rust. So thank you to whoever sent that. That is good times. Uh, put that over there on that pile. Car tuning styling. Oh wow. It's a gear lever scrotum. Oh there you go. Oh genuine leather as well. Oh that smells magnificent. Uh, so yeah replacement gear gaiters because the ones in the Vectra are very poor condition so handbrake and the gear lever. Wow. I don't know who supplied those but thank you very much. That'll make life much more pleasant. There's a lot of rustling going on over there. There's a very big package that Miss Hubner has had her eyes on for days. And this isn't it. Uh, no clues on this one. Um. <laughs> what? What is this? Should I be handling it? Uh, right, okay. Uh, whatever it is, it doesn't expire until 2023. Look, you've found to work it out then. Yeah, is there anything in there? No, no clues. But uh, Miss Hubnut likes it very much. Interesting. Well, at some point we shall find out what that is. Google Translate. Maybe called upon for that one. This really is a, uh, an odd little mix. Oh, some Fred Locker, 242. Because uh, someone noticed me having bits of my 2CV coming undone. So thank you very much for that. Fred Locker is a useful item. Uh, we have a postcard and this must be from Martin, surely. Yes. Uh, this is a card he scanned a few days ago from German um, Top Trumps. There you go. So thank you for that. Martin. And we've got letters aplenty here. Oh my gosh. We have drawings and now I'm feeling like Tony Hart. Oh okay. That says took. Oh which I can't find. Please read first. Mr. Hubner, please find include enclosed drawings of a 2CV or hopefully one of Ellie to follow shortly. Hope you enjoy these and share them with your family. Uh, I will share some of them because there are many with you as well. That's from Finlay Plimpton. Thank you Finlay. 
Um, we'll start with this one because it happens to be the one on top. Oh yes, 2CV with boot box. So that must be going off on an adventure somewhere. It looks like my friend Alex's 2CV. Um, uh, I don't think he's got a uh, 2CV special parked on a hill. Is what that one is. Excellent. What have we got here? Took the Invercar and the, um, the likeness is uncanny. It looks just like me. What was Tony Hart's program called? I've forgotten. Heartbeat. Heartbeat, yes. I think I sent a picture in. I don't think it ever got published. Tatty 2CV special. I'd say colourful myself. Okay. We are going to have a quick razz through all of them because why not? They're fabulous. Yeah. 2CV waiting for work to be done on the front floors. The attention to detail on the rust very impressive that's definitely some flaws in need of attention i remember that very well from ellie it's a bamboo 2cv bamboo one year only quite a rare model and the last one another battered 2cv that's not battered that's colorful and characterful that's how i like my 2cvs to be i have to consider that a paint job for ellie at some point she's a bit boring need to liven her up a bit there aren't enough hand-painted 2CVs around anymore. So thank you for those, Finlay. We don't want to open that one yet, do we? That's the, the big secret one that's got all the letters and stuff. We'll save that for last. And instead, we'll go for this one. This feels quite big. Let's reveal it together. Oh my gosh. I am going to get so fat. I suppose we don't have to eat them all at once, do we? We could take our time. That's a fine selection of biscuits. So I think I can safely say no more biscuits. Thank you very much. Um, but if we ever have a Hubnut social, uh, we'll have plenty of biscuits. Yeah, wonderful. Keep those somewhere safe. Right then, is, is that the letter that said read this first? Indeed. There we go then. It's come all the way down from Aberdeenshire. Enclosed is an oil sump gasket and a set of HT leads for Hugo de Hugo. I haven't even called the Hugo Hugo, but it seems the internet has, so maybe maybe it's called Hugo now. Well, all my cars are girls. Can you have a female Hugo? We live in um Hugo. Yeah, we live in um interesting times, so I'm sure we can. There is also some vintage reading material for toilet time. Uh, I really enjoy your channel. It's not often that a YouTuber comes across as totally genuine. I thought I said feminine for a minute then, but no, it says genuine. It's lovely handwriting. Or as a thoroughly top bloke. Oh, but you certainly do. Wishing you, Miss Hubnut, and the Little Nuts all the very best. Oh, thank you very much, Rob. Let's, let's see what we've got then. Well, we've got the ignition lead set um, for a Yugo. Oh, box within a box. Does that mean they're not really Lucas at all? Oh, yeah, that's definitely HT leads in there. That's good. I suspect that's the least of that car's problems, but after... 25 years off the road, a fresh set would be a very good idea. Uh, oh, you're keeping those somewhere safe. Mm. And we're into the uh, reading material. Oh, ooh. Practical motorist from 1990. Isn't it scary? I think 1990 isn't that long ago. And then you look at a picture like that and it looks like 50 years ago. Yeah, oh. Free shockproof digital watch. Oh, drat. I, I, I think that offer may have ended. That's a shame. Definitely um, enjoy reading that at some point. Maybe not on the toilet, but I'm hoping to have a nice comfy sitting spot at the new unit. I said sitting. And there's the sump plug gasket. Oh, sump gasket, not sump plug gasket. For a Yugo. Will it come out? Yes, there we go. We're getting that. Oh, it's stuck to it. Technical issues, bear with us, viewers. I also seem to have a slight issue with sun going on. Uh, a bit of lens flare. Or is that just artistic? And proof that you do occasionally get sunshine in Wales. Look at that. That's good. 
cork? It looks like it might be cork. Corking. Well, there you go. That's um, a, a bumper little crop of um, stuff there. So thank you very much, everyone. That's, uh, yeah, very, very kind of you. Uh, there will be future videos on Mailbag at some point, but we do have to try and move stuff everywhere as well. I'm hoping tomorrow to get into my new unit, but um, we'll, we'll see if that comes to pass. And then I can do videos like this from the unit and not from a car park. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.